गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द लेक्चर ऑन लेटेक सो वॉट वील बी डूइंग इन दिस लेक्चर इज टू ब्राउज सम एग्जाम्पल्स दिस डॉक्यूमेंट सो वील क्रिएट अ टेबल सिमिलर टू दिस वन विथ मल्टी रोज मल्टी कॉलम्स वी हैव अ टेक्स्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड द इमेज ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड programs how to include programs how to include a program directly from a file including a pdf document if you remember this was the exercise which you had uh, done in the class and the correction was uploaded on moodle by prakash sir after that we'll see how to create some charts bar chart and plot a graph and of course finally the ref how to cite the references and finally we'll conclude with index how to create a index of the book so we'll be using text studio the first thing that we actually write is document class and article so this article can be a book a report a research paper that is ieee tran the cls file which we have we then have the right hand side of the document uh, the pdf file is visible let me first start by writing document class article we'll specify the font size 11 point we have begin document this is how you generally start writing a latex document so let us create a table similar to this one so we have section schedule create a table similar to this so the very first thing is to observe that the first row days has three rows it's uh, three rows have been merged the second one seminar three columns have been merged so let us create begin table and slash begin tabular we'll specify the number of rows are 4 or the number of columns are 4 so we'll write we we'll create four columns and we we'll start writing the content so let us first create as the last row which is wednesday 8 1700 as and topic 4 so wednesday ampersand 800 as ampersand 1700 as ampersand topic 4 we'll build and compile so we got our Table over here. We'll add a vertical line over here and H line, and here H line. So now let us create the first row days. So the days is multi-row. So we'll have to use a package called slash multi row use package and slash multi row the number of rows are 3 the width of the row is specified explicitly or star means whatever the width is given 
in the tabular over here will be taken as the width and the text that is days. The next column is seminar. So, which is multi column. The number of columns are three. So, we have to merge three columns. And the alignment and what we want to display. The next one is schedule and topic. Schedule is a multi column, two multi columns and days. So, ampersand over here because days we have already created schedule slash multi column. Number of columns are two. Alignment is center and schedule. Sorry, here it was seminar. The next one is topic, which is multi row. So slash multi row. Number of rows are two. Width is specified by star and topic. Finally, we have days we already have. Now we have begin, end, and topic. There is quite a lot of errors. So, okay, I will not waste time to show you, I will show you the table over here itself. So, multi row, days, multi column, seminar. C line is used so that we have a line from column number 2 to column number 4. So, this is a line which is created by C line. Then you have multi column for schedule and a multi row for topic. Then you have begin and end C line 2 and 3. So, between 2 and 3 column number 2 and column number 3. Then you have a topic over here and then begin and end. And then you have your normal column, Monday, 800 hours, 1700 hours, topic 1A. So, if you notice, topic 1A and topic 1B, they are appearing on different lines. So, we have to write slash new line, if you want to take a new line in a cell of a table. But this will work only if you have alignment as P. If you have alignment as L, R, or C, it does not work. So, if you want a new line, you have to use the paragraph P and specify the width. Then again, you have multi row for Tuesday 800 hours, 1300 hours, topic 2, and the table goes. So, now we will proceed with this one. So, many a times we have text and image together. It is very difficult to manage text and images together. So, if you want an image, on the left or on the right hand side and the image on the either of the two. So, you need to use wrap figure. So, begin wrap figure, you specify the whether you want it on the right hand side or on the left hand side, then you specify the width. Say for example, right now if you see this image is having 0 0.4 of text width, the text width is the width of the text which is out there on the page. So, if I just increase to 0 0.7, just observe what happens over here. You see, the text has wrapped up like this and the image is occupying 0 0.7 of the text width. Yes? 
uh, initial document class yeah so that you specify the size of the uh, font size so if i make it 12 the font size will increase so by default the font size is 10 so even if you don't write it will take as 10 uh, any other doubt coming back to the figure so we'll change it to 0 0.4 which was usual so you have begin wrap figure then you have just begin center to align the image f box f box is to put a border around the image so if i delete the f box the border will vanish you see now there is no border then you have a caption which is over here figure one poster and write it if you write wrap figure if you write your include graphics within wrap figure or the normal figure that we use automatically figure numbers that is figure one is displayed you have your uh, it is of width is of three inches your my file is in files folder and then I have my paragraph so my paragraph is over here now this paragraph also has some references if you notice 1 6 5 3 2 and 7 so I'll show you the bibliography file first so this is how my bibliography file looks like so I have articles this is reference number one article there are six articles and one miscellaneous because it's a website so the first is the key this is the most important thing because this we will be using it in our tech file to identify that this is the reference that we want to cite you have the author so this paper has so many authors your title in the journal in which it appeared the volume, number, pages, year, etc. There are many fields uh, for every article or the style that you use. You can find them on wiki. Uh, the LaTeX wiki book, if you just search the LaTeX wiki book, it has lots of um, examples and um, it's illustrated quite well. So this one has year, author is Laura, the title is Year of Mook. This was in, this has appeared in New York Times and it was in 2014. So let's see how our references are displayed. So the authors, the title, the journal, volume number, pages, year. So if you remember, distant education was a key in our bibliography.bib so over here we want to say that MOOCs are a recent and widely researched development in distance education we want that this we have taken it from this particular article so we cite distance education similarly year 1 and year 2 for using bibliography you need to use a URL package you have to use package URL and you have to specify the style of bibliography whether you want to sort it by author and you want to display 1 2 3 4 or you want to sort it by author but you want to display alphabets and not the numbers you don't want to sort it you want to just appear as you have cited it in your document or the SEM style so the current style which we look over here is the ABBRV the ABBRV is the ID and sorts by author. So, it's ID, the ID is appearing over here and it has been sorted by author. But if you notice, we have seven references. Whereas over here in our document, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The number 4 is missing. So there might be cases where you don't want to cite it in your document but you have referred to it and you want to 
show it in the list of references that you put. So there is a command called no site. So no site and whatever the key that you want to give, if you put that, it will appear without being cited it explicitly in your document. So let us uh, change the style and make it alpha. So how do you compile, so you compile as PDF LaTeX, your LaTeX file, so of course this compiles our LaTeX file, but we, but we have to even compile and build our bibliography file. So you have to write bibtech and the LaTeX file name. If you notice when I press tab, the AUX file is automatically written, so you have to delete that 03 and you have to compile the bib file and then you have to again compile your latex file two times. Yeah, okay, so I was actually compiling the wrong one. If you notice, now the IDs are alphabetical wise, it's alphabets and even over here when you have cited it, they are alphabets. So when you click on it, you go to your reference. So now let's proceed to include programs. So if you want to include your programs, the source code or you want to write something which should not be interpreted by LaTeX. So you write using listing package. So you have to include use package listings and you have to write your code between begin list, LST listing and LST listing. So whatever you write will appear in a format like this. Of course, you have to define the style of listing. So if you just write your listing without the style, it will be it will appear just a black button, uh, courier's font. So these are the commands that I have written. So you have to left margin, show strings, step number. So you get one, two, three, four. You have to show number, number style in orange color. So all those things, you define your style of how your listing package should make it appear. Ah uh, yes, they are uh, they are there in the LaTeX wiki book. I'll also be uploading the the sample files which I am covering right now. Yeah, you can use the same thing. You can use the same style. Uh, you have your keywords, so it auto. So over here, you also have something if you want to include a file directly from a, your source code. So directly including. So here you specify the language and you specify C++. If it's Python, Java, all those things you can mention over here. So a better way if you want to include a program directly from a file, so it's, it's it can be done in this way rather than just putting copy pasting the entire source code in the LaTeX document. So to include a PDF file, we have include PDF pages, you specify dash means include all pages and you have, you have to specify the path, you have to use a package called PDF pages. So let's see, right now if you see, the header is there, this entire PDF, I'll show you the PDF, this is how my PDF looks like. CS792 Spring proofreading exercise, 
the entire thing appears here as it is. Now what if you want to trim your document? So if you remember, this is actually a rain tree article which was composed on A3 page and there were, it was in three columns. So how does it appear like this? So we had actually trimmed it by including the PDF. So if you see, um, I just commented this one and I am uncommenting the next line. Now you see is only paragraph number one. So you have include all pages, you say clip is equal to true and you say trim. Trim left, bottom, right and top. So let us trim more from the top. So 80 mm has been reduced from the top. It is trimmed from the top. So I will revert back to the original one and this is how it appears. We will now move to plotting bar charts and graphs. So you use TIKZ picture for this. So there is a package called TIKZ PGF plots. You can do many many things with this. So if you browse for TIKZ on the Google, it will give you ready made examples which you can take and you can start creating your own. So here you have width, height, minimum x is 0, x max is 10, the tick is 1, 2, 3, 4, so 0, 1 to 10. Similarly y minimum, y max and y tick. Then you have add plot, add plot is to plot the bar chart. So you want a bar width is 0 0.1 inch, the thickness of the chart, uh, the lines. Then you want to fill it with red, you want to draw a black line and of course the coordinates. Now coming to the graph, so similarly x min, x max, y min, y max, the tick marks, grids because so you want grids on, the, you want horizontal grids or vertical grids, so you specify that I want both, the y label, x is equal, y is equal to x square and label x over here and the coordinates. Now this, the bar chart and the graphs appear side by side. So that is done using multi calls package. So I am saying begin multi calls, number of columns 2 and that is it. So automatically it will put this side by side. Uh, any doubts or anything that you want me to cover? So I will now distribute three things. One is this A3 sheet which is a LaTeX cheat sheet. It is created in LaTeX. It is back to back. Uh, all you need to do for LaTeX is just to see this LaTeX cheat sheet and you don't need anything else. Then there are two things, one is a, file, a paper like this where you, have, where you have to write LaTeX commands. This is just a simple text file. You have to produce an output like this. So I am distributing both. So this was a paper written by Professor Fatak. So, we need to create the output like this. And this is the text file which is supplied to you. You need to write the initial document header, the margins, everything over here. Then maybe you can start writing your latex commands. You can write the command to create this particular table. There is a space for image over here. So you need to put this image here and this text should appear over here. You can refer to the cheat sheet which is also given in case you do not know a command or anything that is okay. Okay. 
ओके सो योर लेफ्ट एंड राइट मार्जिन आर वन इंच द टॉप एंड बॉटम इज जीरो पॉइंट एट इंच एंड द इमेज इज टू पॉइंट एट इंच सो दिस यू मे रिक्वायर फॉर डिफाइनिंग so on this file you need to write your commands the output is shown this paper you will be taking it taking it back home so you don't worry just write your com commands on this file you will write your packages you will define your margins you will write sections sub sections you can create on this you can take this paper back home and you can complete the exercise at home but i want to cover the following over here so if you there is a link which is given over here in the cheat sheet if you on page number 2 the last one it's a wiki article uh, it's on latex so it covers everything in details so starting from introduction your your document structure the information how your sections are divided so an abstract you have to write using begin abstract whatever you want to write you and end abstract so abstract is available in article reports but not in book and in ieee tran ieee tran is just a class which is to which it's a, like a it looks like a research paper so with two columns and that kind of formatting similarly part is available in article report book but not an ieee tran chapter section sub sections and so on so section numbering creating table of contents the depth of table of contents so by default the depth of the uh, contents which is displayed in the table of content is 4 so if you want to change that you can use you can do using set counter toc depth and 5 so if you just browse through this article you will you will get the information that you want so header and footers so over here we have our header as i ict i double e 2014 so if you want to have your custom header and footer so you have to use a package called fancy header your page style should be fancy and then you define your left header center header right header left footer center footer and right footer and if you want to insert something like page 1 of 4 so these are fields so how you write so the page denotes the current page number so you write page slash the page and then you have you want to know the number of pages total pages so that is using a package called use package last page and you just write slash page ref last page then you have numbering style uh, the way the numbers are displayed so in a book normally the table of contents and others are uh, in romans and the others are arabic that is 1 2 3 4 so you need to define your page numbering style as that you can set your page counter uh, page number so from this page i want my page number to be 100 so you can do using set counter page and you specify the number you can orient your document landscape then you have multi calls which we saw you have column spacing so you want some spacing between your two columns so that you can do using multi call package Uh, any doubt feel free to ask then you have your footnotes so sometimes you have uh, something like you have your text this is your normal page you have a text over here and then near the footer just before your footer you have 1 2 3 and you write something 
so that is using footnotes so you define that over here so text and you write something in the footnote that will appear in the bottom widows and orphans so there are certain words uh, uh, sometimes it happens that your just one word or one line appears on the next page and not on the previous page along with the paragraph so you can control that using widow penalty and club penalty so the default value is 150 mostly latex will not let this happen so you need not worry about it then you have text formatting okay the more important thing when you write in latex when we have something like these are my quotation marks so you write something like this so in word or anything if you just write using your double quotes starting it will not display properly in latex so you have to use the escape character it's there on the left hand side of your keyboard you have to use this as the starting point and ending you can you can you have to use single quote so then it will appear like this in latex this is one point that you need to remember then you have text dash so if you just put a dash it is a very small sign uh, which is not proper so if you want to write served from 1991 to 2002 you notice this is a normal a proper dash so you if you want to generate a dash like this you have to write text n dash n dash is a width of the letter n so that is why text n dash if you want a bigger line so for example you have some quote so something 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 by stephen king so you notice this dash is bigger than the dash over here so this is the m dash because it's the width of the letter m yeah you have your text attributes bold italic underline you have your font size so tiny script font note size small so if you have 10 11 or 12 in your document class which you specify the very first line if you specify 12 points and in later in your document you want a large font so that will have 17.28 font size you have colors then the text alignment left right and center of a particular part you have spacing so if you notice in this one just before the abstract there is a text the invited paper is based on an earlier keynote this has a spacing so that you can achieve using begin one and a half spacing double spacing this is for spacing in title commands so sometimes when you write you create a section or you write make title and you have there is lot of space between the actual document the document header and the section so that you can control using title spacing you can go through this uh, at your leisure this is bullets itemize this will be numbering 1 2 3 4 a b c d this is a listing so the format that i have used i put it up over here so this is a listing format the format for C++ or you have your tables, multi columns, merge rows, long table. If your table spans more than one page, then the regular table will not appear. So for that you need to use long table. Then you have your tabular environment, images, image size. If you want to crop image. you want to rotate an image so that you can specify using angle attribute the border as we saw f box if you want to use as figures if you want to wrap images including pdf files all pages certain pages so over here if we see this includes page number 1 of the document page number 3 it inserts a blank page and then from page number 5 to page number 18 you have of course your page style commands then the make title 
so whatever you write in title author and that information will be displayed using the command make title or if you want to define your own title page so then you write begin title end title and you write whatever you want within this so this will create a new page then you have hyperlinks hyperref url href you have cross referencing then you have bibliography citing so this is still uh, in editing mode so still some things need to be written so i'll just quickly go through so if you see the title adopting moocs so this is written in title then the author text bf is for bold professor fatak then big skip then your department the url the page style is fancy left header is icit iwe right head center is page of so and so pages the bibliography then you make title the spacing so i have written begin spacing 1.5 for the spacing okay section star abstract so if you see the abstract is created as a section which does not have a number so if you want your sec some certain sections which which should not be numbered so then you can write slash section star and what you want to write so our new command array stretch this is just to elongate the table so if you delete this command if you don't put this command then the table is very small it doesn't look that good so if, if you want to elongate a bit then you can write array stretch i think i have exceeded so there is a submission link on moodle so that cheat sheet uh, is uploaded on moodle along with the source code the sample cover the tables and the bar charts those are also uploaded on moodle what you need to do is you need to create a document like this and upload the bibliography the pdf file and the tech file so the gedit file is uploaded so you can take that copy paste and create a latex document similar to this one uh, you can take your time so the deadline as of now i have set is 13th is 13th fine to create this latex document um what would be the... okay so maybe uh, what should be the deadline uh 20th 20th is fine okay so i'll uh, increase the deadline by 20th thank you so much